I believe you all saw the exaggerated photo on the video thumbnail. The creature who created real looks to the trees is nothing else but the well-known bird, the woodpecker. This bird has a very famous title, the forest doctor. However, there have been many recent articles saying woodpeckers are not worthy of the title of arborist. Instead, the true identity of the woodpecker is a tree killer. The articles attach detailed information pictures to support these statements. So today, I would like to introduce the woodpecker and at the same time, we will find out whether the woodpecker is the angel or the devils to the trees. Before seeing the devilish behavior of the woodpecker, let's take a look at its good side and briefly understand this creature. Most people have a good impression of woodpeckers because they are primarily insect eaters and they seek them on the surface of trees, especially dead and dying ones that are infested with insects. Unlike other birds, woodpeckers have several body design features that allow them to do this effectively. First of all, woodpeckers have an extraordinary skills in hearing. Whether it's the sound of an insect biting or moving in a tree trunk, the woodpecker can hear it. So, it can find harmful insects inside a tree. Next, the woodpeckers have sharp cross tools, enable them to climb vertically on tree trunks. Most birds can do it at all. That's because most birds have four toes, typically three facing forward and one pointing backward. And this explains why most of the birds you see are standing on branches. However, to woodpecker, their feet have two cross forward and two back to allow them to cling to bark, makes them the only bird that can climb vertically on tree trunks. Besides that, their tails are stiff and used to prop their upper body against the tree for feedings. Next, they have strong bills with chisel-like tips which they use for drilling and drumming trees. Their beaks are usually long and very sharp to allow them to prop under bark and in crevices for insects. Related research shows that a woodpecker bill strikes a tree at an amazing 12 miles per hour when drumming. The average woodpecker is able to pack up to 20 packs per second. It's almost twice as fast as firing a submachine gun. The woodpecker's strong neck muscles power up to 12,000 packs a day, and it can even catch about 1,500 insects every day when brooding. And until recently, how these creatures perform led to the great mysteries that how does it survive this feat and why it doesn't suffer from concussions. That's because they have a shock absorption system in their head. First, the air pockets in its head that help to cushion the brain. Secondly, their brain is only 2 grams, which is relatively smaller compared to human with 1400 grams. And their brains fit snugly in their skulls, which prevents them from sloshing around during rapid movement. The skull is also specially designed to scatter vibrations away from the point of impact. Then the woodpecker has this higher bone that holds the tongue in place and allows it move around. In most birds, it reaches the base of the skull, but in woodpeckers, it carries on wrapping around the back of the skulls until it gets all the way back over to between the eyes acting in a way like a safety belt for the brain. Each time the bird packs, the tongue begins to extend forward, tightening the flexible hyoid around the cranial bones. The sticky saliva and small buds on the end of their long narrow tongues allow them to snatch insects out of holes and openings. With these interesting body structures and playing a wider role in maintaining the health of trees, these statements makes the woodpeckers as a forest doctor in our impressions. But why there are so many articles saying that woodpeckers are not tree doctors, but tree killers? The first example is in this photo. The woodpecker is actually pack up a huge hollow hole from top to bottom of a tree. Such a huge hole undoubtedly causes serious damage to the tree. Some people even make fun of this, saying that this is what happened when you give red bull to woodpecker. This woodpecker is known as the piloted woodpecker, usually fit on insects in various trees. But this is a terrible quirk, because sometimes this woodpecker will misjudge the positions of the insect in the tree. With these unusual obsessions with finding insects inside trees, and this woodpecker will peck endlessly until it finds the insect. This behavior will cause the trees start to weaken and die eventually. 
they are the horrible forest killer number one. When you feel queasy looking at a tree with a surface of small holes scattered close together and wonder who would do that, no doubt, this is the masterpiece from the number two forest cure, the acorn woodpecker. You can actually find many trees like this in the southwestern oak forest in the United States. The acorn woodpeckers live in family groups of up to a dozen. In the fall, they store acorns or other nuts in these holes to provide food for the winter and they can always drill or find a hole that is just the right size for the acorn. And when the acorns dries out, the woodpeckers will move the acorns to smaller holes. They work on these granules over the years, and trees may have up to 50,000 holes. This is the unique survival wisdom of woodpeckers. However, the tree chosen as the granaries can be miserable. They will gradually die due to the countless holes created by acorn woodpeckers. The tree destruction's evidence once again proves that this woodpecker is forest killer number two. <coughs> then there is another forest killer number three. This is a most unusual woodpecker, also known as a bit of a tree vampire, the sap suckers. This woodpecker is not only quite special but also cruel. They drill small holes in the bark of favorite trees, then return again and again to suck the tree's bird that flows out. Especially birch trees and maple trees with high sugar content are their main targets. These sap suckers' feeding behavior are very cruel to the trees. Their attack can kill the tree or seriously degrade the wood. Usually, when a woodpecker digs a small hole in the trunk, after a period of time, the tree will repair the damaged spots itself. But in order to let the tree continue to fill up the sap, the sap sucker will create another wound at a very close to the previous wound. The distance between two wounds is normally 65mm to 95mm. Because the wounds are too close to each other, it is very difficult for the trees to heal itself, and the wounds will continue to set. And if a persistent sap suckers choose to feed on a given tree repeatedly, the damage to the trees will be more extensive and leave the tree vulnerable to other problems such as insects. At this time, the sap suckers will feed these insects to their children, when there are countless holes surrounded the trees and eventually destroy the nutrition pipeline, the tree will die gradually. <coughs> Beside these woodpeckers, the article also introduced a super evil woodpecker that devours the brains of other birds, the Gila woodpecker. They are medium-sized woodpeckers that live in the desert of the southwestern United States and western Mexico. The male Gila woodpeckers are aggressive during the breeding seasons, often attacking other birds. This video is a rare footage of Gila woodpeckers invading other birds' nests while the mother bird is away. The nestling is simply vulnerable, sitting in the nest attacked by the Gila woodpecker. Their beak is like a weapon. In an instant, they peck a hole in the nestling head and begin to eat the bird's brain and blood with its tongue. The nestling appears to be conscious and even want to resist but it was just a waste of efforts. This malicious attack didn't stop until the mother bird came back. After watching these clips, have you changed your view of woodpeckers? What is their true identity? The tree killer or forest doctor? Let me reveal the truth here. As we mentioned earlier about the number one forest killer, the piloted woodpeckers destroying trees are true and not a fake statement. They drum on and drill holes in trees and lodge shrubs as they search for insects, set up territories, prepare nesting sites, and call to mates. But it's not like what the internet article is saying, it is forest cure. It is true that pileated woodpeckers do damage to trees, but healthy trees can withstand the minor damage woodpecker cause. And they prefer dead trees or those hardwood is rotting to create their nest cavities. So the answer is no. The pileated woodpeckers do not cause life-threatening damage to the trees. Next is the forest cure number two, the acorn woodpeckers. It's true that they drill holes on trees and store acorns or other nuts for winter, but they generally drill holes in dead trees. They also drill holes in the thick bark of major living trees, but these holes are only in the outer layer of the bark so that wouldn't cause damage to the living trees. In conclusions, accusing a woodpecker, a forest killer, is false. They do not harm trees. 
But there's one thing people do hate about them. Sometimes they will also build grandly on dead branches, telephone poles, and even wooden buildings. However, not all woodpeckers are harmless to tree. There are indeed some woodpeckers actually bad to the forest, such as the forest killer number three, the sap suckers. They are the woodpecker that will cause life-threatening damage to the tree they drill. Unlike other woodpeckers, sap sucker can kill trees by girdling the trunk and stopping the flow of sap to the roots. But judging from the example, most of the deaths are small trees. Large trees can usually withstand this kind of damage. Since their trees die because of them, I personally think that it's fair to call them forest killer at this point. Not sure what you guys think, please comment to share your thoughts. Although it may seem that a persistent woodpecker is killing your tree, the opposite is generally true. Woodpeckers actually feed off insects that have invaded the bark of an already distressed tree. If majority of the woodpecker species are not tree killer, do they save tree? No, they do not. Woodpecker won't save a tree once it is infested, but they may save the forest. They can stop the voracious insects spread off to the forest. Just like the foresters use woodpeckers to slow down the spread of emerald ash borer, known as EAB, which has now spread to 35 states, killing hundreds of millions of ash trees. Anyway, I hope this video helps you to understand a little more of woodpeckers and also knows why woodpeckers are protected species and precious to human. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and thumbs up if you like it.